Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Joseph and this is The Endless Treasure. We are a full-time eBay reseller couple based in UK. Today we are coming with something different. We would like to show to you our retro collection uh, from our childhood. Like so many of you asking us to show this collection, we are going with you and show to you all the pieces and uh, the history about them. So here is our uh, part of the Funko Pop collection, which we very proud of this collection because uh, we just starting to collect them around uh, one years ago or something like that. All of them we bought for a full asking price in the shop or uh, we are doing from online. Like you can see we have uh, some retro what we collecting. Uh, Helga Pataki, Scooby-Doo, some Simpson stuff, uh, uh, Garfield and Odi. We have uh, Tom and Jerry, uh, Tony the Tiger. Also we have the Lime Friends uh, Brown uh, Funko Pop, which is a limited edition uh, which is a limited edition 7500 pieces, flogged version. We bought for five pounds and it's already sell on eBay around 30 pounds. The next shelf is, uh, it's uh, or she favorite uh, shelf, but is the uh, Gremlins stuff, uh, some of the Gremlin stuff, a uh, few uh, Funko Pop, uh, Leatherface, uh, Diamond Edition, SpongeBob, uh, Casper and like you can see a uh, tagged uh, Gremlins plushie. Also the next shelf is a Harry Potter one. I'm Albus Dumbledore with Hogwarts and uh, Rubeus Hagrid with the Leaky Cauldron. Uh, I love uh, Funko Pop like this and we have some Pez dispenser as well. Uh, the last shelf is the Ghostbusters, the car like you can see the Ecto, Ecto with Trevor and like again we have a Vampaz uh, dispenser as well and some Looney Tunes uh, Funko Pop. Let's see the next shelf. Like you can see here we have Sneasley, Rosie, Penny, uh, Top Cat, Brizzly. It's I think it's two of them missing from this collection which is the most valuable uh, Funko Pops. Hopefully we can find somewhere. Uh, also we have here the Inspector Gadget uh, collection, only the Chase one missing from this collection. Uh, here we have a Harry Potter one. Also all of the Funko Pop have more Funko Pop on the back side, which is, uh, which is not our favorite, but we bought them because we like the design. The next shelf, like you can see, it uh, looks like, like the horror one and some Jurassic stuff. We have Pennywise here, we have a uh, Chucky here, and uh, a Jurassic Park Funko Pops, uh, VHS tapes, we have uh, E.T. Plushie, we love E.T. as well. The next shelf, it's, uh, most of them is just VHS and some uh, pass dispenser. Like you can see, most of them is uh, Disney VHS from our childhood. Is uh, Harry Potter one, the Patronus. I think we have the full collection of uh, Patronus. Also, we have some Lacazette de Papel, Rio, Air Professor, and the Professor. It's our favorite uh, se uh, series on Netflix. We have the Crash Bandicoot and the Nitrous Oxide as well. Also, it's uh, it's. All of them is my favorite, but I like so much the Night Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, we don't have the full collection of the train, but I think it's only one missing from them. Uh, also, we have Oogie Boogie, we have uh, Jack Skellington as well, and uh, we have an Amandam's uh, calculator which we bought in the car boot sale. They are selling online around 15 to 20 pounds. And the uh, top of the shelf, it's the bigger one, like you can see we starting from here, Master of Universe Trap Joe, uh, the Mandalorian with Child, we have uh, some Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Funko Pop as well, the Pharaoh Atom and the Stardust Dragon, 
Also, we bought before some soda as well, but we never found the chase, stopped to buy them. Also, we have a Toy Story Rex, which is a special edition. And we have one more Master of Universe Skeletor with Snake Mountain. And we have the biggest uh, Funko Pop, which is the Star Wars Mandalorian, the Child. Sorry about the light. Uh, the next one is a cabinet, which is uh, full of uh, smaller figures. On the top, you can see a uh, Super Mario, uh, I think a controller holder, which we paid two pound and it's so dirty, but my miss clean out. Uh, the next one, it's a bigger uh, Teenage Mutant figures. Okay, the first shelf in this cabinet, it's uh, most of them is uh, Pokemon figures, smaller figures. Uh, some of them we bought from a car wood sale, like you can see this Charizard is going on eBay around uh, 20, 30 pound. We pay around one pound or something like that. And these smaller figures is coming from an advent calendar. Like you can see the back side, we have a Looney Tunes sealed uh, figures from the 90s. Let's see the next shelf. It's, I think is all of them is uh, Super Mario uh, figures. Like you can see, all of them is a difference. We always uh, search them in the car boot sale and we paid maximum pence for, all of, uh, for them. But so cool, I love them. The next shelf is uh, we have some Ghostbusters figure here, and but most of most of them is Simpson figure from the 90s and uh, early 2001. Just so cool, <laughs> we can't stop uh, pick them up. And the last shelf on the bottom, like you can see, it's a mixed one. It has a Snoopy on that, Looney Tunes stuff, uh, Ronald McDonald's. Uh, yeah, Toy Story. We bought this cabinet, uh, I think for 10 pound, but we love to put them in all the figures because if you switch on, the light is on and it's, I just think is uh, looks fantastic. Okay, so let's see our favorite and most favorite uh, shelf is the Pokemon shelf where we have a lot of uh, Pokemon vintage and modern uh, plushies like you can see we have a Charizard we have a Skirtle also we have a Gengar uh, some different uh, style of Pikachu as well And like you can see, we have some DVDs as well. We collecting DVDs, and I think we have uh, some of them here as well. Yeah. Just we run out with space. Next shelf is uh, Super Mario uh, stuff. Most of them is plushy, like you can see. Only the princess is missing. I still uh, didn't manage to find on car boot sales or charity shops. But uh, yeah, some different type of uh, Mario from different ages, Luigi, pencil case, and uh, we have more Super Mario stuff, but not in the shelf. Let's go and let's see the next one. The next one is the Teenage Mutant uh, Ninja Turtles uh, stuff. Like you can see, we have some mugs, which is from Broom Reseller. Thank you for him. Also, we bought from Instagram this uh, lunchbox, which have the flacon as well like you can see there. Also, we have some vintage uh, VHS tapes. We have a, I think, a Commodore game, Boxed Commodore game here, and a lot of figures as well. 
let's see the next chef the next chef is uh, is a mix <laughs> is a mixed chef uh, we have a lot of vintage plushy here like you can see we have a Garfield, Looney Tunes, Tasmanian uh, Devil, we have a Flintstones which is uh, coming from Vash Picker so thank you so much for him The next shelf is is I I already said in this video is my favorite, but I love pick them up the Simpson stuff because uh, I grow up on this uh, show. Like you can see, so many different uh, type of plushie. Uh, we have some ceramic stuff, mugs. We have some figures as well. Uh, what I showed to you before. Also, we have uh, I think. Uh, already maybe we have the full uh, collection of VHS tape but I'm not sure like you can I have around I think 15 20 of them but so cool love them the last shaft is a mixed shaft again we have a Harry Potter Harry and Hermione plushie we have a Donut Maker Simpson family. Also, we have two vintage uh, TMNT Turtles uh, puzzle, which is coming from Vash Picker. So, thank you again for him. So, the next station in <laughs> this house, the next one is a pass uh, dispenser. It's a Mario one, it's not a full collection. Uh, the next one is a decoration set, a Looney Tunes which we bought last time and is going to our Christmas tree uh, new Super Mario Bros uh, special edition Nintendo 2DS which is almost mint condition a Super Mario Nint Nintendo Switch uh, controller we have a Funko vs strategy game uh, it's a chase one so it's still sealed also if in the back side we have the flash uh, flashlight game I think with the original games and the glass as well like you can see we have here the uh, Super Mario with Quad and the uh, Super Mario with uh, Go-Kart. The next one is our uh, PS1 collection. Like you can see uh, some pretty good game here. Mortal Kombat Medal of Honor, uh, Smackdown, uh, WWF, uh, Pac-Man. Uh, some Disney one, but I would like to show to you one of the most valuable game from our collection is a Jackie Chan game Stun Master is in mint condition Just I have to buy a new case for this But uh, we bought this for around 20 pence in our car boot sale and uh, Yeah, sadly we just starting to starting to collect them around uh, one years ago and uh, we sold a lot of rare games, we sold uh, a lot of rare gaming stuff, but uh, we de decided to start to collect them and uh, keep for our future. On the back side we have more games as well, Some, uh, I think we have the co full collection of uh, Candy Crush Bandicoot and uh, some other uh, game. The next shelf uh, I don't know if you remember, we bought a big uh, Commodore uh, bundle and we have some game here, also we have some uh, PC and demo CD as well, some PS1 game, uh, we have some Nintendo DS game, the Godzilla Unleashed, which is uh, I think uh, that time when I bought is going for around 40-50 uh, quid, Mario Luigi Partner Times, New Super Mario Bros and some boxy the cassette uh, for the Commodore game, uh, Commodore console. Commodore. <laughs> Commodore. Okay. The next shelf is uh, Sega Mega Drive games uh, and some Wii U uh, GameCube. It's here the Mario games, uh, Animal Crossing, which is a sealed uh, Switch game. 
uh, part machine or game. I think this one is again, no, it's a Robocop uh, Commodore game. So on the back side, it's full of uh, one second. I showed to you some of them. Yeah, it's a Sega Master System games, Sonic games, uh, Battle of Run, Castle of Illusion. The next shelf is again, it's mostly just the Mega Drive games, like you can see Lutus Turbo, Mega Bomberman, Mickey Mania, Pac-Man, Power Rangers, Pinocchio, yeah. So, it's uh, in the Mega Drive game is the same as like our, from our childhood, what we play, what we watching and absolutely amazing, we love them. The last shelf is a mixed shelf again, uh, some Nintendo GameCube games. Uh, some Xbox games, Xbox uh, 360, Xbox Classic, uh, PS3, some PC games, I think the full collection of World of Warcraft games, uh, some PS3 games and uh, we have uh, here, yeah, the Robocop 2 Commodore game with the cassette, I think with the manual, yeah, with the manuals as well, absolutely amazing. And sadly, like I said before, we just start to collecting them around one year ago, but we sold a lot of PS3 stuff, Xbox, uh, PS2. So hopefully we can grow this collection very soon. Okay. So the next uh, is a small uh, shelf. Like you can see a sealed brand new Brad's Rock Angels is a 20th anniversary. Uh, Doll. Also, we have a uh, Sailor Moon, uh, Sailor Venus uh, minifigure, which uh, we get for a Christmas gift, I think. The next shelf is a vintage Looney Tunes mug, uh, Mario uh, DS case, a big uh, Simpson figure, a Pokeball, uh, Tom and Jerry, uh, a Marvin mugs, controller. Snoopy, it's here we have a very cute E.T. Uh, soft toy with plastic head and we have here two Game Boy Advance, uh, uh, Game Boy Advance and the red uh, Game Boy Color with uh, two Mario games which we get from Zex because uh, we're trading in all of the Nintendo Wii stuff but we don't need anymore. Okay, the next one is like you can see we have a Pac-Man Lite, we bought, it's a modern one, it's not a vintage one, we bought around for 20 quid, but I love it, it looks nice. We have a Family Guy, Stevie, a Punk Rocker one, we paid one pound for that one, a Looney Tunes clock and the alarm as well. Yeah, it's not here, the downside. <laughs> Also, we have here a vintage, uh, very rare Sonic plushie, which is sell online around 50, 60 quid. And uh, we paid two pound in the last car boot sale. We have a TMNT uh, records, vinyl records, 12 inch one. Sadly don't have the poster with that. Also, we have a vintage uh, TMNT cake tin, uh, cake tin, which we paid probably 250 very good for our collections we have some monopoly as well a space jam poundland one a dragon ball one and uh, hopefully we can find more in the future and like you can see a duracell uh, rabbit it's a vintage one perfectly working and i have a fernando torres uh, signature when he play in liverpool So the next shelf is uh, is or she <laughs> chef. Uh, she loves so much Furbies and uh, I love so much Furbies as well because it's again it's from our childhood. Uh, some McDonald's uh, Furbies, uh, some vintage ones, some modern one. I think we have only one vintage one, but uh, hopefully we can manage to pick up uh, in the future. But 
how look they are look nice and absolutely amazing they are cute all of them is working harder and uh, we cleaned all of them as well so here is a Rugrats uh, soft toy from I think from uh, late 90s uh, here is the best collection in our Funko Pop uh, we have a Pokemon one like you can see we have Vaporeon, Jolteon, Silveon, Vulpix the Vulpix one it's a 2020 summer commercial limited edition exclusive flogged one uh, Skirtle Charmander uh, Skirtle Bulbasaur the Skirtle and Bulbasaur is Diamond Edition 2021 Summer Commercial Limited Edition which we bought uh, for I think 15 pound each and it's already double the price we have some uh, Pidgeotto, Horsey, Pikachu and Charizard also we have here Groblet, Bulbasaur, Mewtwo just they are looks amazing let's see the other collection we have another full collection which is the modern teenage uh, mutant ninja turtles uh, collection we have the full collection tocca michelangelo rafael leonardo donatello super shredder and razar also i miss uh, dr mim from pokemon the new uh, Space Jam, a new Legacy uh, collection, it's complete set. And the last shelf from our collection, like you can see we have the full collection of Cartoon Network, Dexter, Didi, Johnny Bravo, Co, Courage the Cowardly Dog and Chicken. Also, we have some Ghostbusters, it's not complete yet, but hopefully in the future we can, uh, uh, we can complete this collection. Thank you for watching, hopefully you love uh, this video and you love this content. Uh, let me know in the comment section which uh, station in the house you like it uh, most and uh, which is your favorite from our collection hopefully we can grow this collection in the future yeah. but again thank you for the support guys you are amazing uh, if you like this content please like comment subscribe and don't forget to follow us on instagram dgru77 thank you for watching take care see you guys